So we could view or generate information or yeah, generate reports. And as you can see here, um, this is just an example of the report for this particular student, Rachel S. Lopez, and then the history. And then you can see uh, you can see here the fines. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code, and in this video, guys, I'm just going to show you the features of this particular library system or library automation system um, made in java programming language and we're, we're using or my friend used uh, mysql for this particular project so this is a project made by my friend macubex and i have already asked a permission from him to showcase this library automation system to you guys and of course the source you can download this particular project and we're going to be providing the github link um, the link is an av uh, available on the description box below. You can download that. And basically, guys, you could ask questions, but we don't do 100% support for this um, project. Um, but anyway, you could ask questions. You could join to our JavaFX community group for uh, support if you want. But as I've said, we, we don't do... 100% support for this, but you can have all the script, you can hold all, you can have the database, um, the source is available for you. Um, all you have to do is download that, or you could fork this particular project on uh, GitHub. And um, yeah, as I've said, we're going to be um, showcasing here the features of this library automation system. So first, let's lag out first because I um, I am here in the main um, window of our library automation system. So let's log out first. And yeah, we're, we use, or my friend used the fish for the background, but um, you could change, you could always change that if you want. Uh, maybe you want to have like books here or a picture of an, or an image of your library or something. Um, and then here um, you could have the option to log in or um, view the system as a guest and let's try that now and in here we could search for books right there we could search for the title of the books um, the description and we we can view all the information such as the number of copies here and also the status so for example if that particular book is um, borrowed okay so for example here we have zero borrowed for this book and we are uh, we, we do have the all 12 books in our shelves something like that and um, this book is loanable and we can view the category as I've said we can have the search for this so basically guys this feature is just for maybe a student trying to view the available books in the library so you could always do that okay so we could search again we could search for a particular book we could search for a category for example all you want to view is um, novels okay something like this so you could search for and we're um, activating the auto search okay so you could also deactivate that and then you could for example novels and then press enter and then all the information will be available to you and then of course you could search for an author so let's try to remove this author of the search for example Robert so all the information for this particular author should be displayed here so the book that he has written and then the number of pages and then the description okay and then of course the publisher or something if you want to search for a certain publisher okay and let's log in for now again guys the information so for example the login credential is also available because 
you can have the database for this particular project all we ask guys is to you know support us in our youtube channel and you can subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have a new upload or a new project to share here in our youtube channel and as i've said if you want to join in our JavaFX community group in uh, Facebook, you could always um, join and um, you could also send questions, queries regarding our projects um, we're showcasing here in our YouTube channel. So for now, let's just log in. So that's the name of my friend who developed this particular system, Macubex, and um, he's done a great job creating this particular automation system. And of course, uh, as I've said, this particular project is available for you. So he made it available for you in, in GitHub. And of course, the link is on the description box below. So log in for now. And this should be the main screen for our uh, library automation system. And in here, you can uh, view your profile. Okay. So the information should be here. For example, the number, the first name the email, uh, email address or something like that um, and then in here you could also view books okay and then you could add new books so you could uh, view information about that particular book and then you could add members new member to your library or something and um, you could have the reports by the way guys my friend used Jasper Reports for this particular project. So you can print if you want to print reports. For example, the most borrowed books. Um, you could, you know, print that. And also you could um, print the information about a particular member. So I'm just, you know, I'm going to guide you this uh, on this particular project so the first thing that we're going to do here is we could add new books so we could click on that and in here we could you know add the information such as the barcode the isbn the title of the book the cost and then the purchase cost of this particular bo uh, book and number of pages and then the language use or primary language use in this uh, in the book and then copy number and then what we also have here the category for example novels uh, poetry um, storybooks or something and then bar uh, we could set also if the book is bar borrow uh, borrowable or not so you could you know have always the option to um, make it yes or no and then we could specify here also the acquired date and we have used, or my friend used, um, jcalendar for this particular um, feature. Be because basically, we don't have the capability or, you know, the feature in Java to really add um, calendar picker or date picker readily available for us. So, uh, my friend used the plugin um, jcalendar for this. And then, in here, we could add the description. Okay? So for now, let's just cancel that because we already have books or available books here. And we could click on this particular book and then we could say view uh, information. Okay. And then all the information will be available for you in this uh, books information dialog box where you can say the information for barcode, the title of the, the book, the description. And then you could view the author, the publisher, or something, and related subjects to this particular book. Okay. And um, let's see. Books. And then we could generate report for this. Okay. We could generate report for this. And of course, as, as I've said, my friend used um, Jasper reports. Uh, let me show you that. For example, this one. We could generate report and then as you can see here um, this is the information for the book just so stories and then these are all the members that have borrowed that particular book so of course you can print this okay so you have an option to print the report and 
of course um i have i don't have any printer right uh, connected right now but uh, as, as as you can see you can um, connect a printer and then print readily your report for this particular information so there are also other information that we could print so for example the member okay so we could view or generate information or yeah generate reports and as you can see here um, this is just an example of the report for this particular student Rachel S. Lopez and then the history and then you can see uh, you can see here the fines for this particular um, um, student okay again we could also generate reports for most um, borrowed books and then we have available um, chart pie chart and bar graph so I don't want to take up much of your time so I have you know guide you to the basic structure or basic um, functionalities of this library automation system and if you want to explore more on this you can download the link or I mean the project itself from the link on the description box below and uh, also the the database is available on that particular download or you could fork this particular project uh, on github and then you can start macubex for his great effort in developing this library automation system and guys as i've said if you are new here in our youtube channel and if you want content about programming uh, different projects um, for java java effects php so I am inviting you to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have a new upload regarding um, different topics about programming. And I think that's it guys for this video and thank you for watching. See you in the next video.